fans in this tutorial, we're going to be showing y'all how to increase virtual memory in Windows 10 or 11. And this is your RAM's virtual memory. Virtual memory, or the paging file in Windows 11 or 10, is a very feature. It helps temporarily store or remove the files that are allocated in the RAM of our system. If you are stuck with a slow system, do not have enough memory, or want to enhance the performance of your system, Windows 11 allows you to change the page file size, as well as on Windows 10. There are two ways in which you can increase the virtual memory in Windows 10 or 11. So I'll be showing you one of those ways. First thing you have to do is simply go ahead and choose the Start menu, and go ahead and select Settings. So either it'll be pinned over here, or you can simply type in Settings and go ahead and select that. By default, you would be under System. So what you want to do is scroll all the way down and find where it says About. Go ahead and select that. And what you want to do is look for Under Related Links, Advanced System Settings. So go ahead and select that. And what you want to do is you might be under Computer Name. So what you want to do is select the Advanced tab right at the top. And under Performance section, what you want to do is go ahead and select Settings. So it's going to open up another pop-up. And what you want to look for is Advanced once again at the top. Go ahead and select that. And then it should say Virtual Memory right over here. And what you want to do is simply go ahead and select Change. All right, and from here, what you want to do is simply uncheck the Automatically Managed Paging File Size for All Drives. So uncheck that and go ahead and select custom size all right and what you want to do now is simply we're going to need our calculator for some quick math so go ahead and open up the start menu type in calculator so it is recommended that you multiply the initial size in megabytes by 1.5 and set it to that and the maximum size to three times as much as your installed ram and set it to that so what we want to do is 1 gigabyte is equal to 1024 megabytes. So we're going to do 1024, which is equivalent to 1 gigabyte, but this is in megabytes. And we're going to multiply that by however much installed RAM is on your device. So as you can see over here on the About section, my installed RAM is 16 gigabytes. So I'm going to multiply the 1024 megabytes by 16 total gigabytes and it's going to bring me 16,384 megabytes. And again, what you wanna do is multiply that number by 1.5. So 1.5, and this is 24,576. So that's what you want to set your initial size as. So we're gonna type it in. All right, and based off this number, we are going to multiply that number by 3, and that will give us our maximum size in megabytes. So go ahead and multiply that by 3. And as you can see, it's 73,728 megabytes. So we're going to type that in right over here. All right, and that's all you have to do. So the maximum size will always be larger than the initial size so make sure that it is larger by a good aim amount otherwise if it is smaller than the initial size you're doing something wrong all right and what you want to do after that is go ahead and choose set and after you choose set go ahead and select ok and it's going to set that for you and go ahead and select ok and then go ahead and select ok and what you want to do is simply restart your computer and this will result in a faster performance of your device. It will also provide a better overall experience, even while using multiple applications. To go back to the original settings, all you have to do is, again, go back to the Start menu, go back to Settings, and we're going to go to the exact place we were at. So Advanced System Settings. And all you have to do if you want to go back to the default settings is simply just check off automatically manage page paging file sizes for all drives. Go ahead and select OK and OK and OK. And once you restart your computer, everything is going to be automatic once again. All right, so that concludes my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like the video, share it to your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.